used to be the scene of the iconic all-American family, like this from Pleasantville. Morning, kids. Better get a move on or you'll be late for school. I don't believe this. Neither do I. Well, come on, dig in. I put blueberries in them just the way you like. Well, I could eat a stack of that now. Boy, that's changed and not for the better. A new study finds that only 22% of kids live with married parents and a breadwinner dad. When in 1950, that number was 65%. Is this progress? Professor Philip Cohen is the author of The Family, Diversity, Inequality, and Social Change. He also wrote this study and joins us now to explain. Professor, thanks a lot for coming on this morning. So it sounds like the family, as we used to conceive of it, really has collapsed. Well, collapsed is a uh, uh, word you could apply to that dominant category, the breadwinner homemaker, the wife out of the labor force, the husband the only one working. Uh, what we have now instead is a diversity of family forms and structures, and no one category dominates. The, the largest group we have now is dual intermarried couples. That's about a third of children living in those households. and The rest are spread across the variety of other households we've come to know, uh, cohabiting parents, single mothers, single fathers, grandparents. Uh, and so on. Well, let's take a look at some of the statistics here. Uh, so kids living with married parents right now, or in 2010, 62%. That's plummeted since 1960 at 88%. What do you make of that number? Well, the decline of marriage, uh, it, it doesn't have one cause exactly. It comes from a few different things. The biggest um, uh, factor is actually people getting married at older ages. So now the average age of marriage is in the late 20s instead of the early 20s. And during that time, uh, and during their 20s, of course, people are doing a lot of things. Women are uh, going to college much more. About 40% of 30-year-old women are college graduates now. It was 7% in 1960. So they're, they've reordered the timing of their lives. Uh, and, of course, a lot of women are having children during that period. And so that's why uh, we have more uh, single parents. So, I mean, it's pretty conclusive that kids who grow up with married parents, biological parents, do way better than kids who don't. So the fact that the percentage of kids growing up in that environment has been dropping. Why should, wouldn't we call that a tragedy? Well, uh, uh, people with married parents have the benefit of two incomes, for one thing. Uh, if, if people who grow up with single mothers who have adequate income uh, uh, do fine on average, uh, what we find is um, uh, uh, they do have a lot of challenges from the lack of resources, but family structure per se is not as big a factor well, as you might think. Wait, wait, a, wait a second. So you're saying, and I, I don't think this is true, the people who grow up with single mothers, if they have enough money, do as well as people who grow up with a father in the home? I, that, is that accurate? Well, if, if you had to choose between a, uh, a high-income single mother and a low-income married couple, uh, statistically, you'd be better off for the first category. But I, I don't think we really want to choose between those. I think we want to think about the um, pros and cons and the challenges that people face in all different arrangements. And part of the point of this report is that uh, we can't put people in one category. Um, and, and try to come up with a solution. I mean, our, our poverty problem, for example, is only a, a third of people in poverty now are living in single mother families. So we have a large problem of poverty in married couple families as well. So, Philip, is the era of this nuclear family, this idea of the father going off to work, the breadwinner, the mom staying home and raising the kids, taking care of the kids, is that dead? Can we just throw that out for good? Uh, well, it's certainly... Um, not uh, uh, living uh, very, very helpfully at the moment. Um, uh, wh where we'll go in the future is, is hard to tell, but I think that, uh, you know, the changes here are mostly women's employment opportunities, their education, um, the fact that people can um, get divorced now when they're in unhappy marriages, that they don't have to get married um, when they get pregnant accidentally, um, uh, that people have a lot more options now, and uh, I, I think there are certainly pros and cons to that. Yeah. Mostly cons if you're a kid. Thanks. I appreciate it. Coming up, hundreds of kids in several states infected with a